This is MacBay, and welcome to another episode of MacBay Tutorial. In this episode, I'd like to share with you guys a quick tutorial on how to make electrical boxes slash electrical panel for your uh, 112 scale uh, diorama figures. And so what you see here is basically all made from majority from insulation foam. And some of the materials that I use here are basically um, scrap materials that um, I usually keep when I have some interesting looking piece of like plastic or stuff like that. I just keep them for later use. And in this case, I was able to find a use for this. I actually been using this a lot in um, pretty much most of my uh, electrical meter um, um, accessories. But this is basically a, a cap for a syringe. So what I did there, I just uh, I just cut part of it and inserted that in the foam. And actually, the uh, the other side of this is this one right here. You can see. So uh, I was able to also find a way of using that instead of throwing it away. So. Yeah, and um, this is basically just, again, insulation foam that I cut. And, um, you know, I added this thing in here to make it look like it's a, uh, a opening for the box. And I even added a handle right here. Um, and for this piece right here, it's basically just the, um, the end of a uh, zip ties. But it does make get for a, a very interesting looking um, you know, apparatus in this you know box yeah and you could be you know you could be creative on this you don't have to specifically do something like this you know you can have something where you only have a box like this without the t uh, the top part um, you know so yeah you could definitely you know, do some creativity see like this one right here is very simple you know, um, it's just like a, just a box. Again, I added that um, kind of like line all the way through just to suggest that it is a, an opening box, right? And then again, going back in here, this one is like an opening as well. And um, those right here are basically stuff that I'm gonna be using for my um, uh, junction box for electrical uh, pipes and stuff so yeah not, I mean it's not difficult to do but if you do it you know um, correctly and in scale then it you know can work really good for your diodes so this one is ready for uh, priming uh, I just need to paint this black and then I'm gonna be throwing some paints in here I'm thinking of a lot of the time electrical panels comes in like gray type color so I'll, that's what I'll be doing in here and then I'm thinking of maybe doing some sort of like emergency boxes or telephone type boxes where this usually comes in like red color and green so I'll play around with that and then weather it later on so yeah so the next part right here is painting so um, I'll see you guys um, when I'm done all right so here's the completed uh, product as you can see, uh, it's fully painted. I also did um, some weathering in here already by doing some dry brushing um, with some silver and I think I used one of my medium grays. I kind of mix it in and then um, use that to dry brush so that you could kind of see, you know, adds a little bit more kind of like scratches. Uh, metallic type um, wear on this utility boxes the same thing in here and like I said earlier I painted this um, gray I actually used dark gray on this and then I mix I mix it in with some uh, silver paint just to make it a little bit more um, glossy and then I added some decals in here that I uh, printed and size it to fit this guy's over here uh, 
came out pretty good. So, um, yeah, you know, you could kind of see how easy it is to do. And um, if you paint it correctly, uh, you'll be able to achieve something like this. You know, it's somewhat uh, realistic. Um, and it will add a lot of character in your uh, diorama. All right, well, thank you for joining me and hope that this little tutorial uh, can help you in your future diet projects.